Hi, at Euronevel 2022, Rafael Advanced Defense Systems is showcasing its end-to-end -end naval solutions. With me is Ran Tavor, Vice President of Naval Warfare Systems. Ran, good morning. Good morning. Nice having you here. Thanks for welcoming us. So, please tell me what is uh, the main focus of your booth this year at Euronevel? Uh, actually, what we are focusing today is about uh, ship defense, both the the SIDOM and the SIDEM, how you are integrating. Uh, two layers of defense on uh, for the same ship against incoming simultaneous threat. Uh, so Ran, let's uh, walk over to the SIDOM to, to learn more. So what is uh, SIDOM exactly? SIDOM actually is a derivative uh, of Iron Dome. Iron Dome is, a, you know all, a very famous uh, system with uh, almost uh, 5,000 inter interception, 96% of uh, success rate. We took the same or the identical uh, interceptor. We did some changes because the land domain is uh, different than the naval domain. We tweaked about uh, some things and we tailored the interceptor to meet the challenges of the naval arena. But still it's the identical uh, interceptor. So we put a system in a vertical launching unit on board the sars cis Corvette, and we did a lot of oh, massive tests against incoming threat, drones, small targets, incoming cruise missiles, very low altitude, uh, fast coming uh, missiles. And we're now in an IOC in Israeli Navy. Uh, the other system on display uh, for self uh, protection of the vessels is the, the, the CGM. Let, let's go take a closer look. Yeah. What you see here is actually is a, it's a rocket. It used to be a chaff rocket consisting of uh, chaff uh, pieces. We took all, all the chaff pieces out and we put a whole uh, integrated EW system consisting of ESM, electronic support measure, and ECM, electronic countermeasure, in one piece. You see the size, it's uh, like a soft drink bottle, a 1.5 liter, but we put a fully integrated system. This is an RF active decoy. We are launching it through regular or standard uh, launchers and we are deceiving the incoming missiles. The today's incoming missile, they know how to, uh, to defer chaff from, from other stuff, so they are discriminating the chaff and still hitting the, the ship. If you are using onboard ECM, uh, the missile have a hormone gem, so they definitely will hit the, the ship. So we are taking ECM off the ship. And then we are not just moving the range or we are not just deceiving the incoming missile by range, we are also deceiving the, uh, the angular, the, the angle. So we are launching it for a standard launcher and then when the missile is coming, we are sending all those uh, pre-programmed uh, uh, countermeasure and deceiving the incoming missiles. This is a very unique solution. We are Introducing it's an IOC with the Israeli Navy on board the SAR-6 uh, Corvette. I think we are the first in the world to introduce in that uh, form fit uh, this type of uh, system. All right, Ran, we discussed uh, ship cell defense. What about strike capabilities? Okay, good, good that you ask. Actually, what we are introducing here is the spike uh, missiles, family of missiles. Into the naval arena, we are introducing two types of missiles, ER and NLOS. ER is extended range for about 10 kilometers, and the NLOS is for 20, uh, 32 kilometers. These missiles are actually suitable for littoral combat, for uh, uh, limited water warfare, for archipelago, when you have a lot of islands or many islands. So we are, you are, we are taking uh, gunboats and making them uh, strike capable. Uh, so these missiles are using uh, electro-optical seekers with artificial intelligence inside. We are putting the target within a library in the missiles and they are fighting their own target. Of course, we have men in the loop that in can intervene. You can strike targets within the naval arena or on land. So we are not limited. Ran, besides uh, the Spike family, uh, does Rafael makes uh, full-fledged anti-ship missiles? Yes, actually we have a cruise missile that we introduced about a year ago. This missile goes to 300 kilometers and uses the same technology as we discussed with the Spike. It uses electro-optical seeker 
We took all those technologies from the Spike missile and we packed them to a very nice package of cruise missiles. So we have artificial intelligence within the missiles. We can put in the library the pictures or any other uh, electro-optical data of the targets into the missile and the missile while it flies you actually search and doing uh, scene matching and target matching uh, looking for the target so we are only uh, hitting the designated target and without any collateral damage this missile goes relatively slow but do a really good maneuvering at the end of its uh, cruising and hitting the point. Since we are doing air defense, we know how to attack and overcome the air defense itself. This missile is relatively small, about 400 kilos, about four meters. So it is suitable for a very small vessel to have a long range stri uh, strike cap uh, capabilities. We brought uh, a lot of systems, end-to-end -end solution based on our uh, a vast experience, operational experience into this show. We emphasize on defense, but not just defense, also strike uh, capabilities. We have also underwater solution with our subsidiary DSAT uh, against incoming uh, torpedo that you can see in the DSAT booth. So actually we are now giving answer to uh, operational gaps that we met 10 or 15 years ago and now the rest of the world is now uh, showing or needs to uh, to take uh, care of. Very well Ron, thank you very much. Thank you very much.